a, a, a great art director, a great art director that reads shit. A great art director either gets his way, uh, is it, not, uh, doesn't let anybody force him into doing bad work. And a good art director will uh, cave in. If you work at an agency, he'll cave in, he'll cave in six times a week. But maybe three times he'll, he won't and he'll get something good. Yeah, yeah. And so what, what the, 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 the great art director has courage. I mean, I'm, I'm, with equal talent. Right, right. You know, because I'm, with equal talent, uh, if, you're, if you're not courageous, you're, you, you can be cautious or you can be creative, but you can't be a cautious creative. And I tell these people who I think have talent, you know, what the hell am I, you know, you, you're doing shit. They say, yeah, but you should see, I got a creative director this, and I got, mm -hmm. and I got a client, those clients, those clients are all stupid, but I do great work. Well, I, bullshit. You know, bullshit. I do great work, but clients are stupid. Convince the clients, talk them into it, right. explain it to them. However you do, if you have to bullshit them, bullshit them. Do anything you can to get a job done right. So that's the difference between great and good. You know, okay. good, good, and great. Good ain't near great. It's a thousand miles away from great. Great. But you gotta have balls. Yeah. What do you think of compromise? You know, in the design profession. You know, is it got the wrong guy? <laughs> You know, I mean, if I was in Congress, I'd be, uh, be uh, there's no guy with me. No, I, I understand being part partisan and getting compromised and getting things done, you know, in Congress, etc. No, I, people say, gee, gee, um, well, I gave in, the client wants to, wanted a logo bigger, and he wanted this, and he wanted that, he wanted me to change the headline, and they're, they're well, hell yeah, well, it's not that bad. Huh? No, no, I, I, I want it the way I did it. You know, guys got to have a, give me a hell of a reason to change something. You know, nah, the wrong no. Compromise when you're an art director. No. Right. Yeah, but people say, well, you can't live your life that way. Right. That's what I do. It's crazy. Because you know, I have to. Right. Because people around you are trying to change what you do all the time. They're out to get you. The motherfucker, they're out to get you. Paranoid. You'll be paranoid. Two people out to get you. <laughs> you know, the minute you do, the, the minute you're you know, an art director and you know, you're designing and you're doing stuff, you'd be surprised who comes after you. you say, I don't know, it's a little too edgy. You know, I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know. People around you. What do you say to them? Fuck you. No, I just won't do it. You know, and, and, I, and it's not because I get away with it because I, I have a reputation. I did it. I did it when I was a kid. Everybody you know, looked at me. Mm -hmm. Who the hell's this kid? You know, you know, fuck you. You know, that's the only way to be great. Right. I, I say, if you want to join the pantheon of the greats, you can't eat shit. You can't. You know, you got to be strong. You got to be. Well, and, yeah, but your work's got to be terrific. I mean, right, you, right. if your work's not terrific and you and you don't give in, then you're a jerk, you know. But you know, so if you're mediocre, you know, maybe you're right to give in and do this and that. But if you right. think you're great, and I think there's a lot of people who are, well, I think a lot of people have been great and, and have never done really consistently great work, you know. I have some older guys read my book now and say, I wish I knew. Oh. I, I wish I knew that, but I know now, you know, and I, and I say, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
some of it has to be seemingly outrageous. You know, like if you see Alia, Saint Sebastian, everybody fucking hated everybody hated them. They said they fucking tactic, they kind of make a sense of them, but they did them. And people kept talking and before you know it, you had an anti war movement say, No, no, he's he's great. You know, he's our leader. All the guys that were trying to stay out of the draft, millions of guys, mm -hmm. Ali became their hero. Wow. That cover made him their hero. Before that they were a little embarrassed, you know. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you shouldn't be cocky, you should be cocksure. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not cocky, I'm not saying I'm, I'm cocksure. I do something, I say, I'm right about something. You know, I don't say, hey, I'm hot shit. I say, yeah, what I just fucking did is right. It's gonna help you, it's gonna do this, it's gonna do that. Cocksure. Uh, and and that's, the, that's the hardest thing to teach young people. And that's the hardest, and that's the, if you look, if you read it, my damn good advice book, the bottom line is, what I'm saying is, if you got talent, you better have courage. Because the more talented you are, the more the more courage, the more you're going to need courage. The more talent you have, the more trouble you're in. But you're going to do stuff and everybody can say, I don't, I don't think so, it's going to work. If you're mediocre, people say, oh, that's good. You know, that's good. That'll work. Yeah. If you're mediocre, things that people like, if you, you, Go to gray advertising, that's where everything they do. They go to these and that's uh, it's terrific. And they put it on the wall and you look at it and you say, what the fuck is that? And say, no, no, no. So if the more talented you, you are, the more trouble you're in. Incredible. And that means that you need the courage to fight the motherfuckers. Because they're out to get you. No good Nazi, no good luck. No good about Nazi bastards, right? And it's true. And if you tell us the most, uh, uh, I mean, I've had these, I've had creative directors at Gray, I kind of talked to her a couple of months ago as a favor of a woman who used to be my TV producer. 800 people. You know, and you talk to them, and they're all so hard, they're all macho guys. When they're separate, they say, can't get anything good done here. You know, our clients will eat, you know, make us change our work, and they do this. It must have been great when you were back. You must have been great back then, you know. You know, I, I said, what do you mean? I, 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 nothing's changed for me, you know? What do you mean? Maybe go ahead. Oh, yeah. So they, they, they're acting like they're hot shit creative directors. Meanwhile, they say to me, you can't get anything good done because of those fucking clients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other designers, the other people, artists, they can't get anything done here because of our creative director. Uh -huh. You know, they all blame somebody else, you know? They're all full of shit. Yeah, but you know what? You have to make, you gotta make a living. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you gotta make a living. You know how many clients I've sold? I have an ad agency. You know, and, and uh, there's people dependent on me for their jobs. I have an ad agency, and I throw six million, eight million dollar account out the out the door. They don't get to go to shop. They don't get another shop. They ain't nobody getting fired. We're gonna get back an eight million dollar or two four million dollar accounts in the next couple of months. Okay, everybody, calm down. I had to do it because of this and this and this. Mm -hmm. Because they they, they, they they want us to do this and this. Fuck them, right? They, 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 say, uh, they cheer you. But you know, I've had my people made you cheering me because I threw a count on the countdown. Because they knew they were we were wrestling with them. Right. And they said and everybody said they, like fuck them, you know? right. But you gotta have balls. Right. And you can't and you can't say, Well, you know, yeah, I got four kids, I got three kids, mm -hmm. I got all anything. How to eat some shit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste that bad. Right. That's what they tell you basically, it doesn't taste that bad. You know, if you, mm -hmm. if you, if you, if you take, eat some shit, just drink some, you know, a, 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 you know, a Pepsi after it, it'll taste better, you know. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they literally say it, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he would do exactly what I told him to do. He didn't argue with me. Because a lot of test photographers say, oh no, how about you? You talk mm -hmm. to you what I would when I would you I'd work with Avatar, oh no, no, George, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? Mm -hmm. I said, uh, I just want to do the fucking thing. Yeah, but wait a minute, maybe we can do that too. Just do what the fuck I tell you. 
you know, I just, I just work, I just want to work with people. To me, the photographer is, uh, is an instrument. Just the instrument to do it correctly, you know. So I didn't do it because I didn't pick up anybody, you know. Can I use five, six different photographers? But I use Fisher a lot. But I, if I said, "Dude, I'm going to do this and this and this and this," that's it. No discussion. Right. You know, I don't, I don't need any creativity. I just needed excellence and. I just treated photographers like a tool, and and the good and the really good photographers understood that, you know, and wound up being involved with me with the, with the things that made their reputation. All of a sudden, Carl Fisher became an important uh, photographer, which is great, but uh, I wanted my fucking way. I don't want to argue. That's why I direct all my TV commercials. I never had anybody direct my TV commercials. The biggest director for yeah, I, nobody directs. I, I, I direct. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need any other body, anybody else discussing it. You know? you know, you just have to grab it and own it if you want to do great work. You know, a lot of a lot of art directors they wind up their agency wind up hiring a, a director, a very important director. The director takes a storyboard and they, he does it. They do it his way. What? What do you mean his way? <laughs> don't, don't, don't you have the right way in your head? You know?